Yo guys, what's up? This is Jay Bar. First of all, big shout out and thank you to my subscribers. We are over 50. So, you know, by YouTube standards, that's not much, but I'm stoked and I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. In this video, I'm going to show you how filter envelopes work or mod envelopes. If you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Later. Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Bar with Bar Creative, and this time I'm going to show you filter envelopes or mod envelopes. Here we go. Let's get to it. Filter envelope. So let's say I have a filter going here. All right, I've got a low pass filter set up, and what I want to do is I don't actually want for whatever reason, I don't want this filter to engage right away. What I can do is I can use this envelope and automate it. And I can just basically say like, hey, I want you to go from zero to 100% on this filter over the course of one and a half seconds, which is 1500 milliseconds. So and you can hear kind of like wah, and that basically is this. It's going from zero to 100%, but that's all happening in one and a half seconds. So if I took this off, you can hear the difference. It's going to be immediate. And, and there's our filter, right? So I can set the attack. So we'll go back to like 1500 because I kind of like that. And then we have our decay, which decay is like the amount of time it takes to go from 100% to the sustained level. And so I talk about sustain in the last video. It's Sustain is basically like where you want it to be while the key's down. So like if it's full, you'll hear it set in and it won't taper off at all. Just be. And it stays. Okay, but let's say I wanted to get like this big sweep first and then have it stay kind of again. So like now I'm going to sweep it up. You're going to hear it. It's going to go wow or whatever and come back down. And then it'll actually stay at this level. So. All right, and the reason for that wow is because it's coming up to 100%, meaning this is fully engaged on our filter envelope, and then it sweeps back down to the sustain level, and that means as long as I'm holding the key down, it's going to stay there. So I could bring this up to like a little higher, so it's like wow, and it stays up higher. And you can hear it's finally leveled out. Let's compare it with all the way down. And you can see that this decay is really steep. So if I do it like this, it's going to be like, wow, like real quick. You can hear it just drops, all right? And I can shorten my attack. All right, so that's kind of cool. So you can kind of mess with that. Now, the release, I'm not really sure how that's going to play in unless you had a long kind of release there. So like I think the only way your release is really going to affect it is if you actually have a release on the synth itself and so that gets back to amp amp envelopes. I'll leave this I'll leave a link in the description to get you to that video. And I kind of go into more detail about envelopes, but basically when you have this idea of a mod, you know, a modulation envelope or a filter envelope, it's just like an amp envelope, but this is controlling volume, but in this case it's controlling your effects. And so that's kind of the long story short. I don't know if I did a great job of explaining that or not. <laughs> Let me know if I didn't, but basically this is an XY, right? So remember math class in the old school, you know, old days, maybe you're in math class now, I don't know, but X goes across and that's time. So basically you're saying over this amount of time, do this. Okay. And so the Y is going to be your level or your amount. And so what I'm saying is take 800 milliseconds, which is eight seconds to go from zero to fully engaged 100%. And you can hear it sweep in. And it will take eight seconds to get there. And then this decay is the amount of time it takes, because look, time is on the X here. So it takes from here to here to go from 100% down to the sustain volume. Now, if you want it to just stay 100%, just take the decay out and just leave the sustain all the way up. And I don't really want to sit through that, so we'll shorten this. And so you can hear. And the reason that that's taken 
See, I had a I had a release on my amp. So we have two filters go on the amp envelope. This is the volume basically, and your filter envelope, which in this case is engaging the low pass. I hope that was helpful. This is Jay Bar with Bar Creative, and in 10 minutes or less, I just showed you how filter envelopes work with your synths. All right, later. <laughs>